Hi everyone and welcome back. It's Vicky here and today I will be working on a new art journal layout. This is a stamp set by Alte New and I had this for a few months now and I was planning for a while to use them on an art journal. So today is the day. Now you can get this uh, stamp set with a discount, make sure to visit my blog and you will find all about it. There is a great sale going on at the moment where you will be able to get anything that has to do with card making from 20 up to 50% off. So don't forget to check it out, it uh, will be only for uh, 3 days, so make sure to shop quickly for the best selection. Now I'm working with my Distress Oxide inks with the famous uh, technique where you just apply a little bit of uh, ink on your craft mat and then you spray with water and uh, all you do is just smoothing the paper on top. Always remember that in between layers make sure that everything is dry otherwise all you will be able to create is mud. So you see that every time I dip I make sure that uh, the, this layer is dry and then I dip again. You can repeat the same process again and again with Distress Oxide inks and uh, until you are happy with the outcome. The idea here is to create three different pattern papers and I will be using those later on to stamp my feathers. I'm working on heavy watercolor paper and um, this is actually cold pressed watercolor paper that takes Distress Oxide inks beautifully. Now for the first paper that I created I used three colors and these were um, squeezed lemonade, spiced marmalade and worn lipstick and for this one I'm creating now I'm using peacock feathers and twisted citron and I just love this combination. And for the last paper I used Salty Ocean and uh, Wilted Violet. So here are all the three of them. I'm just going to apply a little bit of water, do some splashes and then blot them with my cloth. And remember that in the sale I was talking you about in the beginning of this video, you will find Distress Oxide inks on sale as well, so maybe you want to grab a couple of those to complete your collection. And also this is on sale, you will find pretty much everything on sale, you have to check it out. Now I'm uh, going to stamp um, my feathers on these pattern papers and I will be using archival ink for that just to make sure that everything is uh, going to be permanent. Now since I don't know exactly which feathers I want uh, to use for my page, I'm stamping way more than I need and there are many different designs, three designs actually of feathers and at this stage I didn't uh, actually know which of those I want to use. So I'm going to make sure that I have enough and I will let you know how I decided on which ones to use after all. Now you could easily turn this idea into a card so you see all three of them look beautifully. All you have to do is to just stick them on top of a standard card and add a sentiment. But since I am going for an art journal today, I'm going to cut them out. And um, now look how this feather looks. Just because it has so many black lines, it actually covers up that beautiful pattern that I got from Distress Oxide Inks. And that's how I decided to use this design of feathers so that I don't uh, cover up all this beauty. Now I'm uh, going to stamp uh, one of the designs that uh, came in the stamp set. There are three different designs actually to embellish your feathers and I'm going with the dots. I'm going to stamp them with Versamark ink since I am planning to apply some embossing powder. Now I'm going to stamp uh, the whole thing but I'm not actually going to add uh, embossing powder all over the place. And I don't know if you've seen my unboxing ranger video, so I got these uh, lettered uh, embossing powders and I wanted to try out one of them. So I decided to go with the gold tinsel embossing powder and I'm just going to apply it in uh, a few of those uh, stamped dots, mainly at the bottom of uh, my feathers. I'm using my heat gun to heat set the embossing powder. Now in that uh, same unboxing video I also got uh, those uh, embossing pens by Ranger. They come with four different nibs and I'm looking to find the one with the brush tip. So I will use that for today and I'm going to add some uh, details. Since I'm not a calligrapher I will be using those brushes as uh, for doodling and uh, this is going to allow me to add uh, details here and there on my projects both for card making as well as on my mixed media projects. So I'm going to apply my embossing powder again 
And after heat setting everything, I do have some shine on my feathers. So I am going to put those feathers aside for now and I will be working on my background. Again, I'm working on my 6x6 uh, watercolor art journal and I will create with the same technique as uh, w I did for the feathers, my background. So here I used, uh, I believe that was worn lipstick and uh, carved pumpkin. And uh, again, I'm using the same technique, making sure that I dry each layer in between. Now, I love this color combo. I think these two colors make great backgrounds. And um, the only thing I'm going to do is to dab one more time just to get those splashes. I think this background looks beautiful as it is and I don't need to add way more layers on top of it. Splashes is uh, something I always uh, love doing and I'm doing that with black uh, ink just because I do have black on my focal point from the stamping and I believe that uh, little details like this bring everything together. Now you could leave the background as it was before. I always like to have darker edges and that's why I went in the beginning with this oxide uh, vintage photo and now I'm adding a little bit of black suit. And I'm also going to add some stamping at the background. This is a good old uh, stamp that I have with uh, some text. And I'm not going to cover up the whole background, just in a few areas to add more interest. So now let's have some fun with stencils. This is a stencil which is called Distressed Details. And um, that's also on sale. And I will be working with my black embossing paste to add some details on my background. So this is a great um, stencil just because it gives you all these patterns. It is very versatile and you can use it again and again on your mixed media pages. So I will choose uh, a few of those patterns. And uh, this is going to add more texture on my background and uh, more interest with all those patterns. And here we go again with uh, white splashes. This time I'm using gesso. This is white gesso diluted with water. Now everything is dry and it's time to add the, those feathers on my uh, layout. But um, here is where I decided to add an extra texture on my page. So I'm going to add a little bit of this white thread around the top of those feathers. I'm just going to wrap it there. And I have uh, used some uh, tape adhesive at the back, so it's going to be secured nicely at the back. I'm going to repeat the same process for all three of those feathers. So they all end up having a lovely detail on the top. And I'm going to stick this with uh, some foam tape. This is going to make sure that these are slightly raised, but uh, the foam tape that I'm working with is very thin, so it's not going to add too much bulk. Now the fact that I'm working on an art journal with uh, discs as um, uh, the bounding system gives me the opportunity to add a little bit of bulk in between those pages. And uh, in case I end up having uh, too bulky of a journal, then I can always uh, move all those pages into bigger rings or I can move some of the pages on another art journal. So it gives me lots of flexibility with uh, dimensional elements. Now I'm going to stick those feathers down and at the same time I'm going to secure a piece of that white thread. So I'm going to wrap it at the top as if, it is, if uh, those feathers are hanging from there. And I'm going to secure these with my tiny attacher and I don't mind having those uh, metal pieces on my page, they actually give an extra texture. Now I have some new tools I have been playing with and uh, I got these Liquitex markers. These are acrylic markers and um, they came in a set of uh, six. So mainly the 
primary colors, the basic colors that you need, like blue, yellow, red, green, uh, a black, a white, and a white. You can get them in uh, different nibs. So you can get a big mama like this one or the smaller ones that I got. I'm going to show you the tips here and I will promise uh, to make a video on showing you all my markers and uh, the different uses that you can get from them. So these are both Liquitex uh, acrylic markers and uh, I'm going to show you the difference with the acrylic pens by uh, Ranger, that the Dilutions ones that have such a tiny little nib. So you can see here the difference. They all write opaque. This is acrylic paint that they have inside and pay, depending on the nib you can get different uh, results. So today instead of using my trusted uh, Signo white gel pen I will be adding my highlights with my new white Liquitex acrylic pen. I like how juicy it is. It writes on top of uh, acrylics nicely. And I'm using this to create a very thin line all around as a border. Now I don't know about you but I absolutely love adding uh, white uh, details on my pages and I always struggle with uh, white markers and pens so having a big collection of white uh, pens is uh, making me really happy especially like uh, these uh, acrylic pens that write beautifully on top of my pages. So I'm going to embellish my page a little bit more and for that I'm using my white Nouveau Drops. And now finally it's time to stamp my sentiment. For that I'm using my Concord 9th alphabet uh, stamp set. And I'm going to stamp Dream Big. Of course you can use your uh, pens and uh, write down whatever you like. I prefer stamping since I don't like my handwriting. This is the Sophisticated Script Stamp Set by Concord 9th. It is on sale right now, so check it out. I think it is perfect for each and every one of us who are not happy with our own handwriting. Now again I'm using my Liquitex marker to add some highlights on my quote. And these are going to help my quote pop against the background. And my page is finished and I really had so much fun creating it. I'm going to put this uh, page back on my art journal. I hope you had fun, you got inspired and I'll see you all next time. Thank you all for watching.